We are now into the heart of tornado season in the Carolinas. April and May are responsible for about a third of all of our tornadoes. And meteorologist Chris Mulcahy focuses on North Carolina and its tornado history in this week's Weather IQ. North Carolina is no stranger to tornadoes, seen nearly 1500 since 1950. So let's raise your weather IQ on the most epic and historic NC tornadoes. Before we get started, we need some background information. Tornadoes are measured by the enhanced Fujita scale, ranging from EF0 to EF5. This enhanced scale is designed to relate types of damage more easily with wind speeds and intensities. This enhanced scale came about in 2007, so all dates before this are just the Fujita scale listed as F0 to F5. North Carolina has 12 F4 tornadoes on record, but no EF4 since 2007. The old Fujita scale didn't estimate exact wind speeds like we do today, so for the tiebreaker, let's use path length. The longest track, F4, was on the ground for 83 miles, with winds likely ranging over 165 miles per hour. November 23rd, 1992 was the third day of a historic multi-state tornado outbreak, but the tornado that touched down in Harnett County, just south of Raleigh, tracked northeastward for 160 miles all the way to Elizabeth City. One of the most famous days in North Carolina tornado history was March 28, 1984. This outbreak had 14 tornadoes confirmed that day, and two of those were the widest on record, both over a mile. This F4 in Scotland, Robeson, and Cumberland County had a width of over 2,600 yards. That's 1.5 miles. The most famous North Carolina tornado outbreak was associated with another multi-day system. April 16, 2011, dropped 32 tornadoes across North Carolina. On average, over the last 30 years, North Carolina averages 30 tornadoes. So we always need to be weather aware, especially during the months of April and May. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte. Quite the history Ooh, there. Well, yeah. That March tw uh, 1984 outbreak was amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. It was in radio in those days, and we had one of our reporters go down. And couldn't believe the devastation. <clears throat> that was all eastern North Carolina. Yeah. And well, well, east of us. Yeah. What's yeah. interesting yeah. is all of our F4s, most of those happened during that year, yeah. during wow. that one outbreak. Yeah, exactly. So it oh. really was one of the greatest outbreaks in history. But then 2011, more recently, mm -hmm. is the most we've ever seen in a uh, given day. But then also April 2011 was the most active month that we've had in North Carolina history. And once again, it, it can be, it doesn't have to be a tornado. We saw what happened in Rock Hill, South Carolina mm -hmm. over the weekend. That was a Macroburst, not microburst, macroburst, that's a much wider area, over 2.6 miles of territory to cover. So even severe storms can cause a lot of sure. damage.